case you're wondering what you just saw in that video, you just witnessed a bunch of terrorists flying their homemade hang gliders literally smack dab into the middle of a music festival. These people had no idea what was about to happen. They're out there partying. They're out there dancing. They're out there having a better time than I thought you were even allowed to have over there in that area of the world. And as they're dancing around, they start hearing this humming sound in the distance. And before you know it, as they're gyrating their hips to Shakira or whatever they listen to over there, they start looking up in the sky and there's literally terrorists with AKs and ARs flying on homemade hang gliders and paragliders descending upon them like the monkeys from freaking Wizard of Oz. These people literally land and start firing on innocent people and immediately start snatching up random women. Now, one of the women that got snatched up earlier today, by the time you're watching this video, it will have been yesterday, was a young woman by the name of Shani Luauk. And I'm probably mispronouncing her name, I'm sorry. But she was in Israel to attend a music festival that they were having to promote peace in near the Gaza border. Yet ironically enough, as they're there promoting peace during this music festival, there was no peace. Literally one of the biggest attacks that we've seen on Israel took place right in the middle of this music festival. Now this young woman was snatched up they stripped her of her clothing. They R-worded her. They took her life right there, threw her body around like a rag doll, threw it in the back of a truck, and then paraded it all around the city while live streaming it and posting the videos to social media. It was a very disturbing thing to see. I can't show you the videos here, for obvious reasons, but they're out there. And, you know, we honestly shouldn't be seeing videos like this. I think it has an effect on our, on our mental, if you will, right? But unfortunately, this young woman's mother had to see this video. She had to see her daughter's lifeless body paraded around town like her life meant nothing. And moments ago, she just uploaded a video after having to see something no one should ever have to see. I can't imagine the pain this woman is going through. She literally got herself together, filmed a video asking these terrorists to at least, please, allow us to have the body of my daughter back. That's how bad this situation is. And there's dozens of women missing that we can only assume got snatched up during all of this madness. Here's a picture of, of some of them. There's videos out there, whole families, mom, dad, two kids kidnapped. And these people are filming videos of it and posting it online as if it's nothing. As if it is nothing. And I mean, can you even imagine being somewhere, attending a music festival, thinking everything's okay? Like, as you're sitting out there dancing, the last thing, literally the last thing on your mind is, oh, you know what? What if a bunch of people craft, craft together some homemade freaking paragliders and paraglide in here and attack us? That's what the hell happened. But I know some people will say it's not the time, but we have to have the conversation. People. If you get a wild hair up your behind to go to a foreign country, to go to a peace festival in the middle of, uh, of I don't want to say a war zone, but basically in the middle of 
an area where there's a lot of turmoil, you need to stay your behind home. All of that hippie crap, keep it over here, okay? Or keep it wherever you're at. A lot of these people had no business out there having a music. Do you think a music festival is going to bring, uh, bring peace to the Middle East? So now we have young women from various parts of the world who honestly had no business being there that were there to virtue signal and dance around to bring fake peace to the Middle East. And now they're getting snatched up because they wanted to be over there to film TikTok videos. And now they're getting snatched up and paraglided out of there. Literally. And like I said, I know maybe right now is not the time to have the conversation. But sometimes when it's not the time to have the conversation, that's the best time to have the conversation. Because if we gain anything from this senseless loss of life, at least I hope some people got the warning. But hey, maybe I don't need to do stuff like this. Maybe I don't need to let my idiot friends convince me that we need to go to a music festival on the border of, <laughs> on the Israel-Gaza border. Maybe we don't need to go to a music festival over here right by the Gaza Strip and dance around where a bunch of terrorists usually are. You know what I'm saying? But like, for real. It's all that modern day nonsense. Like, a music festival isn't going to help anything. If anything, this music festival probably pissed these people off because they want to know why y'all got women out here dancing you know, and they're not wearing the proper clothing and certain things like that. You know what I mean? And I couldn't help but after watching this, I was like, I always think about what if news stories collided, like certain news stories I covered. And when I'm watching this, I couldn't help but think about Burning Man. Like, isn't this something that would that, that, that would have happened at our... Obviously, I'm glad nothing like this would happen at Burning Man, but isn't this something that would happen at Burning Man? You know what I mean? When I look at these people putting together like homemade paragliders and invading another country, I can't help but think of Burning Man. It's like the Mad Max vibe. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I don't know. It's just a thought that randomly came to my mind. Like what if paragliding terrorists invaded Burning Man? Maybe, you know, the world would be a better place if it happened at Burning Man as opposed to here. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I'm joking, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, it's kind of weird. But as of right now, like I told you all in a prior video, this is not just, in my opinion, the way I see things. I don't think this is just one of those random skirmishes that we always see in the Middle East. Honestly, I think this has the potential to really blow up, no pun intended. I think this has the potential to get even more out of control than whatever we're seeing with Ukraine and Russia. This is the next big thing. I think a lot of people were getting tired of Ukraine. I think the powers that be that got, got the memo. And this is the next big conflict that we all have to worry about. By the time we wake up in the morning, I'm recording this at night. By the time you're watching this video, it may already be morning. But most likely by the time you're watching this video or by the time I wake up tomorrow, the shit will have already hit the fan. And I mean, think of like Jurassic Park size turds hitting one of the fans on the back of those pa those homemade paragliders that these terrorists are flying around on. That's what I'm talking about. Ish is going to have hit the fan. I can guarantee you that. As, sir, as sure as the sun rises tomorrow, all hell is going to start breaking loose in that area of the world. And in my opinion, 
I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we kind of want war with Iran. That's a conversation that I'll save for another video. Right now, my heart goes out to everyone involved in this. I know this, that it's a complicated situation, but the fact is there's innocent, random people that have nothing to do with all of this, that have nothing to do with anything, that are going to lose their lives here. And my heart goes out to those people on each side. There are people who are just chilling in their homes today, chilling with their kids, trying to have a normal day. Next thing you know, they're getting snatched up. But let me know your thoughts down below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all soon in the next video.